we can. Hello. I've said that like eight times now. But big news before I start the stream stream proper proper. Do you ever find it weird that there's like a talk in and then a talk in and then a, a talk out and then a talk out? It's hard. Maybe I need to maybe I need to extract the talk in and the talk out into like a like a set video, like a a spiel in and a spiel out for the for the vods. Maybe that would be nice. Maybe, maybe I don't care. Maybe, maybe I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, that's not what I came here to tell you. I came here to tell you thank you, Ban Ben, for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy it here. Let me update the tally. Let me update the application because it doesn't have Twitch integration. It's dumb. But it does work. And it works exactly how I need it to. That I can control an author and moderate it as as needed. I don't have to worry about the program taking a day off. I don't have to worry about Unreal Engine giving me garbage data. I, I guess it does technically save the variables, so it does that itself. But um, it's not past any data, so it doesn't have to pass anything. I don't have to work with Twitch API. <laughs> so I've seen people working with Twitch API. <laughs> does not look fun. Uh, anyway, uh, do you know what does look fun? Finishing this game. Um, not having to play this game anymore. Maybe playing a new game on Sunday. It's tradition that we play the the horrible crusty plea at the PS2 game, the PS1 game. You know, the ancient or the unknown game on Sunday. And this is this has been a rare treat for the senses and imagination. I don't think we're actually anywhere near the end of this game. Unfortunately. I may have looked on the wiki to find out the best place to farm golden slimes and metal slimes and such. And it may have turned out, it may have transpired that there's a third act at the end of this act. So, we just got into the start of the second act. Good god, this is a long game. Good god. And because the fact that it has noisy visuals, it's not like looking at the Unreal Editor for hours at a time. The VODs are huge, right? The VODs are like 30, 40, 50... 80 gigabytes, even after processing. Which does not make me happy. It makes me want to buy another hard drive. It makes me have to buy another hard drive. In fact, I don't want to buy any more hard drives. I just want my hard drives to grow in size as I own them, really. So I have two 4 terabyte hard drives in the external boat. Full. Practically full. <laughs> of videos. Not just this game. Three years of streaming, right? It is what it is, I'm afraid. We're just going to have to roll with it. Ah, Tickington. I tried to fight that boss that puts everyone to sleep. Do I have a thing to prevent sleep? Can we spend the first five minutes of this video crafting? Also, I don't feel too well. So if I just run away from the microphone... Uh, yeah, sorry about that, but it might happen. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, you, you tell me, right? The fun size, oh, watch. There's something reflecting in my monitor, it's, my monitor's curved, so it looks really weird, but it's shining directly in my eye. Like, it's just in one eye, though, just my right eye. What, what is it? Oh, it's my on-air sign that I need to put up, and maybe a PS4 case. Oh, yeah, I, I see. So, I edited my curtain. So, I, I, there's a lot of boxes on the left-hand side, on my left-hand side, that, that are new, right? There's, a, there's a, some shelving, and then I moved Steel Battalion to the top of the shelving. So, I, I figured that was a good enough curtain for direct sunlight against, you know, casting a, a glare on my screens or shining directly into my eyes. So, I, 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 it, was, it was like hung... All the way across to the to the end, to the other side of the, the, the post, so it would close all the way if I needed it closed, but 
I just figured I'd open it and have as much sunlight as possible. I took it off the last hoop and scooted it all the way to the back of the, the, the cabinetry. But um, the extra light, it turns out, uh, reflects beautifully off my reflective objects and directly into my eye through the room. It looks like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you do not. I didn't actually... I, I don't think, think that we might actually have something that we already have equipped that we might actually already be able to um, just use. Sleep attacks. Rousing Rose Collar. How many do we have? So it looks like we actually already had four Rousing Rose Collars uh, available to us. So we can just equip them instead of making four more. Like a smelly Benelli. I'm so happy we managed to recover the save data. This Tickington place and these Tockle guys are pretty out there, right? But I get the feeling nothing really surprises you anymore. You look like you can take this kind of stuff in your stride. Is that... Is that an insult or, or what? Dum -da -da. It's crazy how it won't let you save in Tickington. So like, if if you want to save in between Tickington missions, you gotta leave Tickington and then save outside. Yes. So everyone in this town are ghosts. They're already dead. We just we just gotta fight this lad here. Uh, great sword guard abilities. Uh, re revamp. Uh, spells. Accelerator spells. Uh, come off. Oh, nice. Uh Rust Fangs. One point of damage. Deflects the attack. What the shit? So...
Ah, oh, shit. Uh... Critical hit. K -k crack that's a good one. Unless she's a shockwave that assails all enemies. She's one of Manadono and Jade are pet them. Okay. Um. Good crack. Isn't affected! Heal. Mesmerized. Got him, boys. Defeated? Are you kidding me? We got him? Each party member receives 13,000 experience points and the party acquires 7,000 gold coins. Well deserved as well. Check it out. Level 54, 10 skill points. I will not use my skill points right away. It's fine. By the night, Aberon defeated 
the spirits of the town folk will be able to rest in peace once more. Go and tell the man at the entrance to Damdara that his oppressor is no more. But there's a thing here, right? Guess it was fake poison, huh? This music's kind of whack. Gotta, gotta lay it down. Praise be, we are delivered from our plight. Verily, thou art the saviour we have so long awaited. Prithee, accept this small token of my gratitude, trifling though it may be. Five chunks of densinium. Thou hast not appeared upon our humble tone. Mayhap we might never have saved, been saved. Now, though, thanks to your timely intervention, we may sleep peacefully at last. I am Galen, best among bards, who praises were once sung in every corner of this fair land. Town of Damdara and ruins, thou status was once a bustling in house of state and settlement, but alas, no more. Though when I close my eyes, glad scenes of yesteryear do float before me as if they occurred only yesterday. Come, my friend, join me in my reverie. Nice. Nothing? Okay, so there's nothing to take from that, that location. Good that we got that got, though. I like that. I want to save. That gets you a pep power? Hello. <coughs> Zapple as well. I kind of want all that. Oh, another huge milestone, by the way. We have reached, we have breached 5,000 views. Thank you. You watch this show, kids. Might I remind you, you watch this show, not me. And you have watched this show. And that's cool. Gotta save.
been a, a Asper Aquila up the observatory to look for a missing fig. He told you the words Ruby Path of Doom popped into his head when he attempted to search for the holy fruit. Been asked by a man in the room of revival to defeat the revivalist so that all the monsters preventing him and his companions' rebirth will disappear. The revivalist is last known to have left in search of the liar of Aya, find him and put him in his place. You've been asked by a man to go to an island to seek a man far to the west of Lonolulu and beat a man, nightclubber, with the buff buff power up. Okay. There's a young man in Talvin Sniffleheim. Yeah, screw him. There's an astronomer in the paddocks in Galopolis who's looking a bit of it for certain. A bit of certain. Ah, oh, that sounds like something we can do. That sounds like something we can do. Galopolopolis. Where did he say he was? Observatory. I don't think that's a place in Galopolis, I'm afraid. We'll just read the quest again when we get there. Paddocks. An astronomer near the paddocks. Dog? Dog astronomer? Evidently not. I, I can see his pin on my map. Up there. Up stair. How do you even make a mini map, though? Like, really, how do you make a mini map? Oh dear, I came in here to search Edwin's Latin. I'm an astronomer, you see, but now it's gone and disappeared, so I'm not sure what to do. Some of my colleagues have managed to find some shards of the lantern out of the desert, though. I've seen a couple. They look absolutely fascinating. I'd love to perform a few experiments on one. But I've heard that this is crawling with monsters. There's no way someone like me could venture out there and shard hunt. Looks like you could handle yourself, though. Don't suppose you'd go out there and find one for me, would you? Yes. And really, thank you. As far as I heard, the shards have been turning up in the desert north of Galopolis. If you could find one, bring it to me. Never be so grateful. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> My OCR program broke. Sorry. The words just turn into garbled nonsense. I'm I'm as bad as those those TTS bots at this point. Is there gonna be like a trap? Like we're gonna go out there, we're gonna find a shard, and then we're gonna be attacked by a giant scorpion. That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? A save just to be just to be on the safest side. Her skin is a mystery. What? What? <sighs> Yahoo! Sup, Devro? What's poppin'? 
I'm playing that game again. You know, the smelly one. Just finished your stream? Does that mean you've raided me? Does that mean I have received a raid from Devro? You can say yes. You can take this credit. It's fine. <gasps> I'm having, I'm having PTSD flashbacks. How was your stream, Devro? What were you streaming? I'm going to assume it was game dev. I'm going to assume you were doing some development of a game. And the slide can't jump. Okay. Message received and understood. No, no raid. You attempt to raid in topic. Attempt to, to raid in top into it was a good stream made progress. Progress is what we like to hear. Balked game is what we do not like to hear. No 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 <laughs> Oh, what luck. Right where it said there was a key item, I have found a key item. Whoosh. There were enemies, but they did not attack us. This tea is really strong. It tastes almost like medicine. Can't prove any of my theories until I... I forgot the voice I did as well. Necessary experiment. I can't simply can't do that without a lantern shard. Oh, I'm sorry. And see you there. What does this mean? You found a lantern fragment for me? Yes. But these are... Oh gosh, that's fascinating. You see the ruins and the shard you brought me? They're the same as the ruins in the desert. Said to date from the ancient times. Lumi shorts. Welcome. Sup, sup, sup. Sup indeed. This reinforces my theory that Erd's Wind's Lantern contained the power of the ancient hero for whom it was named. Meaning the ruins a bit more mysterious though. It's like something like to you entrusted to you people of the future. What does that mean? What did Erdwin entrust us with his power? Going to need to research this a lot more in depth. A lantern Shard could possibly lead to some really groundbreaking discoveries. Thank you. Going to all the trouble of getting it for me. Here's a little talk of my gratitude. It's just fascinating. Do you know what is actually fascinating? The fact that we change the way we make games and the way we optimize game engines based on the currently popular hardware of the time. Did you did you ever think about that? Did you ever think that the GPU became popular because people wanted to process more triangles and more lighting at the same time? And it got to a point where we had to change the way we rendered video games from the CPU. And that changed GPUs. And now we've created bottlenecks in different places in the systems. And it's crazy. Pasta. Let me zoom on on the meatballs. Let me zoom in. Whee! Pasta. I haven't had the spaghetti and meatballs in a very long time. Months, maybe. That's right. That's what I want to see. Nice smiles from all of you. Keep the evil away. What a promise. 
Circus of Life. Oh, you decided to walk up mid-performance and say hello of you. That's... I'm, um, flattered. Well, Erdwin's lantern may have shone pretty brightly, but I'm nothing... I'm nothing if not up for a challenge. Let's see what I can do to top it. I heard you were on a quest to take down the Lord of Shadows. He's the one who destroyed Ixtron, right? Well, that's just wonderful. I assume the Lopolis have got smiles back on their faces now, but there's a whole lot of glumness out there in the world. If you manage to get rid of him, maybe Audrey will be able to get back and start beaming again. Good luck to you. We're right behind you all the way. Circus always makes me feel better. Look at her dance. Truly, she is the best. It's time to enjoy ourselves again. How do they do it? It's miraculous. I've never seen such skill. One day I too will join the circus. This is the best circus in Erdrea. It's the only circus in Erdrea. Life without the lantern is bliss. Woo hooray. Amazing how wonderful. Now we can forget all our cares and enjoy the show. Good old ringmaster. Yes. Yes. Yes! Hey, what's this on the floor? Yo, what's this? What's this on this floor? Hold up. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. They look like magic medals. From, uh... Dragon's Dog. But speaking of which, speaking of which, I don't have it to hand. I do not have it to hand, but I did buy another copy of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Um, maybe, maybe someone will receive that as a gift in an upcoming stream event near December, January time. The treasure chest is empty. You got what owns the game, Dragon's Dogma? God damn it! Stop owning good games. Start owning poopy games, so so I can give away good games to people who don't have good games. No. Okay. Bet you've got Elden's Ring as well. Did we already discuss this? Did I already ask you if you had Elden's Ring? Did you already say you didn't? Are you the person who doesn't like Dark Souls games? You don't intend to touch it. Yeah. Thought we'd had this conversation already. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have a brain. You gotta understand this. How can you jump from good games to Elden Ring? What the hell? <laughs> I haven't played it. I have no opinion on the Elden Ring. Looks nice. It looks like a game that has nice graphics. But it also, I from the gameplay I saw, it does also just look like Dark Souls, so... I've already played four of those games. I don't think there's... ...much impetus for me to play another one. That's about it. Looks like it's got good graphics. Everyone says that it plays great. Everyone says that it's fun and interesting. There's an NPC that will give you a hug. What game... Is there an NPC that will give you a hug? Don't answer that. The the answers are not safe for Twitch TV chat. <laughs> Apart from Elden Ring. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the item shop. That's an item shop. Well, he doesn't sell any items there. Bioware games. What's What's wrong with Bioware games? Hugs in Bioware games. Oh, oh. Yeah, as I said. I guess the Bioware hugs are, uh, I want to say TV safe. 
There's things, there's many things wrong with Bioware games. Uh oh. Is it the fact that they, uh, they stopped active development of Anthem to work on Mass Effect Andromeda? How dare they? I feel like I'm the only person in the fucking world who's played Anthem. Everyone's just like, Andromeda, it's so good, but it could have been better. Have you, have you played Anthem? It's, it's just like, you're going for the fact that Andromeda exists. There, there we go. There we go. Like, do you know, do you know that the feeling? Do you know the feeling where you would like some more of a thing, but you know that having more of the thing would, um, would potentially, um, reduce the experience of the original thing, you know? When, when you want more Mass Effect, you don't want to play the old Mass Effect, you just you want some new Mass Effect. MGS5 is not a Bioware game. Devro, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> MGS5 was developed by uh, Hideo Kojima and Konami. That's where you have this feeling. Oh, where you, uh, where you, where you want some more MGS5, but you know more MGS5 would ruin the feeling of playing MGS5. So you bought MGS Survive then, right? Was it just, was it Metal Gear Survive or Metal Gear Solid 5 Survive? Roma Encampment, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chateau Felix. Ruby Path of Doom. Well, we're never going to get to him. No, because it sucked ass in beta. <laughs> it didn't get better, apparently. One of those days. You told the dwarf that you defeated Daisy. He seems very... Oh, that's, that's complete. Rose. Ask for the slime in Rose's room to help look for materials to find a new flute of resolution. Go to the forest of fairies and look for tree, branch, broom, magical enemies. As of this moment, your brain is no longer present. All you can smell is dinner smells. Damn it. It's a man in the Imperial Pantry of Parthenea. He seems to be in need of assistance. Have you tried talking to him and seeing what's up? No, because it's really hard to get through the Imperial Pantry and put the name without dying. <laughs> Been asked by a woman in Erdrick's future home to help her by bringing her some defuddle drops so she could snap the townsfolk to her senses. Try searching somewhere where Celestrians live. What? You've been asked by the kin of Canuck to find his missing son and bring him home. Apparently he headed off to track down some his royal peers among a group of people called the Romers. Okay. Richie's Rock Hard Roulette Challenge. Oh, God. Every single quest that we have to take is just a nightmare now. And I don't want to do them. There's a minstrel looking for a certain letter in the general store in Arborea. Why don't you try talking to him and seeing what's up? I, I can do that. If I don't do the quests, I won't be a high enough level to beat the boss. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole... That's the big shtick. What's for dinner anyway, Lumi and Dev? What's for dinner? You're having a roast... Roast joint of suckling beast with a side of roasted mashed reformed potato squares. You know, I haven't had potato smileys in so long. People are going to be like, that's scrub food for children, but damn. Do you know what? Just re right, right, okay, hear me out. Okay, regular roast potatoes. Roasting a potato, giving a soft inside potato and a hard, crispy potato shell. Having potatoes is complicated around here. Schnitzel is something mushroom, something, something else, something. Not potato, apparently. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, no. So it takes a lot of time and uh, maybe not work, maybe not preparation, but like you have to steam the potato and then you have to put the potato in hot oil. You have to make sure it doesn't sit in the oil. You gotta make sure it's fully coated at all times and hot. I mean, you can't, you can't, it can't be dry, but it can't be sit in the oil. If it's sitting in the oil, the oil will, will uh, uh, like, will, will cool it down too much and it will become crispy. It will just become sodden with, anyway, they, they take a lot of babying sometimes and they take a, a lot of dangerous cooking techniques and they, they're hard to make, they take a lot of time, but if you just mash the potato and you form it into a shape and then and then fry that, 
<laughs> it's a lot easier, okay? And then, and then, hear me out, if a company does that for you and then freezes the product, so you just have to heat it up again. Bro, come on. Dost thou recall, my love, when we did gaze upon the beauty of all Adrea? The sky so deep and blue, they did seem to swallow us whole. The sea it burned manna red, stained by the light of the setting sun, and round its citrus's leaves did shine with the light of life. The heavenly vision I saw with thee that seared itself into my very soul, ne'er shall I forget it, though I live for all eternity. Having fries is somewhat functional these days. No, 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 no. Not potato fries. Not a deep fried julienne potato. No, 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 no. Processed, reconstituted, mashed, shaped potato, seasoned. It's completely different. It's completely, di it's completely different. Fair words indeed, would you not agree? It is the text of a letter written by an unknown hand. That's what was discovered deep inside a book here, library here in Arborea. I've read it so many times now that I am able to recite its contents by heart. Good. However, it's the letter is incomplete. I've searched and searched for the second page, but alas, it is nowhere to be found. Not here on Arborea, at any least. That sound odd, manner. Not gonna lie. Right. Okay. We're taking a small break from the video game to show, uh, to show our good friends, um, some some local delicacies. Oh, you can get it off fucking chain. Sorry. Uh, sources. Screen. Screen. There we go. So we have these potato smileys. Do you like hash browns? But you'd rather make them yourself. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Hash brown is a, is a good is a is a good uh, facsimile of the potato smiley. But also, uh, we're not sponsored by Bird's Eye. We are not sponsored by anyone who makes a potato waffle, though I wish we were. It's the, it's a very similar concept, uh, but instead of being a smiley shape, it's a waffle shape, and these are these are also pretty great. You remember having these? Yeah, it, they're generally regarded as kids' food, but it is just potato at the end of the day. Potato, a bit of salt, a bunch of oil, you know, all the bad stuff. It is what it is. I'm gonna actually um get myself one of these real quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It comes in a box. You get earrings? You get earrings and a necklace. Who cares if they were kids food, you had them with the full English. Yeah. Uh, I travel a great deal, do you know? You mind aiding me in searching for the letters, no doubt, lyrical, a heart-wrenching ending? Yes. Things to do with metal goo. <gasps> I sold all my metal globules. God damn it. This tome was sold some years ago to a Gallipolitan noblewoman. If I journey to Galopolis and inquire at the homes of the noble families in that realm, wish me the best of luck. Good. I don't know why Devro is making funny faces at my potato snacks. Come on, Devro. Come on. I, I too do not eat potato often. I too am of an age where metabolism has slowed to a point at which excess carbohydrates are not required. And I live a lifestyle which does not require any excess carbohydrates either. Mana, is there any food you hate with a passion? Like, yeah, of course there is. I hate natto. Disgusting. Hate natto. I hate cauliflower. I cannot eat cauliflower. Steamed cabbage. <coughs> Just the smell of steamed cabbage is enough to kill me. Devro doesn't like the taste of potatoes. That's interesting. That's interesting to me. Because they don't taste of anything at all. They're like chicken. They taste of what you season them as. Usually salt. Sometimes pepper. Do you know what I really do like though? Ah, mm, mm. When I lived in Japan, uh, there were these... Uh, how do I explain them? 
potato noodles. They weren't noodles. And they weren't noodles made of potato starch. What was the first thing? You didn't get it? Natto. Natto. How do I escape from my game and type messages into chat? Um... It's a moldy mung bean. They are fermented, fermented uh, bean sprout. Fermented soybean. Ugh. Disgusting. Can't eat them. Google says rotten beans, correct. That is the direct translation. My family have been royal guard, Patean subjects for generations. Indeed, this house has given us by form of salt and recognition and contribution we have made to the kingdom. Look, they got bison horns in the back. Of course, of course they're from the American South. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I realized I would not be crushed by fallen star after all. Yeah, you're just going to fleece your house for any magical... Oh, shit, you've got a butler. Bet he's a combat butler too. Ah, mine. Uh, there's a distinctly old fashioned looking history book entitled The Guardians of the Star. I'm going to take it off the shelf and have a closer look. Whatever could have led people to the brave, harsh desert heat make their homes in the arid sand of Galopolis to answer this question, we must go back to the very founding of the nation. What records remain of the Gallant men who first settled here refer to them as Guardians of the Star? It's safe to surmise that they were descendants that went on to become the current royal family of Galopolis. We can't know for sure how these first men came to earn such a title, but more than a few have speculated upon the language of the nation's renowned knights and the numerous checkpoints they guard. Huh. No poem in there. Got the thing in the box. The lady of this house is a keen collector of classic literature. As that butler, it often falls to me to do the collecting on her behalf. Many years ago, she dispatched me to Arborea to pick up a particularly rare volume. At the time, I was aggravated to be sent on such an arduous journey, but looking back on it now, it's quite the adventure. What became of the book, you ask? I'm afraid that we no longer have it. Traveling woodcutter once stayed, stayed, took it with him when he left. What a fucking... the cheek of the lad. He just comes in, nicks a collectible book... He was so enthralled by his contents that the lady reluctantly agreed to part with it. Oh, okay. It was the only way to make him leave. Remember correctly, he said he was on the way to a cabin in the mangrove. Wait, whether he still resides there now, I do not know. That hairy dog of a bridge builder who would not fix the other bridge in the mangle grove. I swear to God, if he's got this book, I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to... I can't walk to the mangle grove either, can I? Gotta go to like somewhere that isn't the mangle grove. Uh, I'm trying to think of other foods that I really don't like. Um, it's a very small list. I'm yeah, I realize that now. Oh, oh, courgette. I can't, I can't eat courgette. I don't know why. It just, it just, it just, it triggers me. You can never think of a food you don't like or can't stand. Wow, Lumi. You're lucky. Like, I know I'm I'm not, like, the fussiest of eaters, but, man, there's, there's some things that people are just, like, want to eat some of this, and I'm just like, no, as we have previously mentioned. I'm not a massive fan of gravy, but it's, like, it's not, like, it's not the end of the world. I can eat gravy. I won't complain about it much. Licorice. Ah. Oh. Lumi, no. Licorice is the best. Do you know? Do you know there's a um, a salad leaf that tastes like licorice, fennel? It's so good. Just it's just it's just you eating licorice, but it's it's a leaf. The odd part is, you can eat the red one. I don't think the red one is licorice though, is it? It's, that's just that's just raspberry flavored candy. 
Yeah, the black black one is licorice. Though. What's it, what's licorice made out of? Is licorice made out of anise? Is it made out of aniseed? You, mother lovers. Warning: Bridge out of order. Use vines at your own risk. God damn it! Old rubber tires. Yeah, love the taste of an old rubber tire. Me. You wanted to speak to me. Next, you'll be telling me you don't like Colt's Foot Rock. Or the, um, the root. Oh, what? A what? A what? You're a wizard. Hold on, I need to get out of the danger zone before I show you what Colt's Foot Rock is. Don't tell me this is like British cuisine. Don't tell me this is only found in, in the Englands. Bull. I really like this bridge, by the way. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. You don't know, you didn't fully understand what I said, so it could have been that, but you've lived in England, so who knows? So, that is true. And once again, I have forgotten this fact. <laughs> I'm not actually buying a potato waffle necklace. Okay, so Colt's foot is a plant. Apparently it's a member of the dandelion. And they make a candy out of the root called Colt's Foot Rock. Which is a kind of licorice, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, no, you can hate it. <laughs> but yeah, this is delicious. I remember when I was a, a, a baby child. You've never seen this, looks inedible. It does look like a building material. It looks like someone's chipped the grouting out of an old building and just gone, Hey, Irish child. <laughs> Fuck. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you like, I'm glad you appreciate a licorice. And, um... You have uh, somehow acquired a subscription to my channel. I don't remember how that happened, but... Irish John subscribed with Prime! One minute ago. <laughs> I don't have desktop alerts on my stream, I'm afraid, Irish John. I don't have a cat that pops up. Anyway, I actually have organized my cards now. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, Irish John Games. Everyone. Man is a professional, yes. I have organized, yes. I've organized my cards into, the stream's gonna get real wild now, into um, scrubs and subs. So the subs tin is... The other thing you don't get is like matcha flavor. So matcha is just tastes like green tea. It's just because there's a lot of it, it's very bitter. Um, but it goes really well with like um, vanilla, uh, caramel, sugar. So in Japan, when you're having your matcha, when you're having your, your, your matcha, you'll have a very sweet candy with your matcha to balance out the flavors. Um, I am actually going to open one of these. It's disgusting. So next time you're in Japan, Lumi, I want you to go to a chain restaurant called Joyful. And I would like you to um, purchase some matcha lattes. You can have, it's just on the soft drink bar, so you can have, like, cola afterwards if you don't like it, but a matcha latte is so good. Because it, it tastes, it tastes like that slightly bitter caramel, and you can just drink it all night. And then need to use the bathroom eight times while you're in the middle of a darts tournament. That was fun. That was really fun. I've opened, I jumped the gun, I'm sorry, John. I jumped the gun, I'm opening a, a Modern Horizons 2, I got this yesterday. It's the most expensive booster pack I've ever bought. How is Irish John's game coming along? It looks great. He's It looks great, but I'll let him explain. He's working on some tools right now. 
We got a dark moss bridge. Indestructible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Indestructible. Dark moss bridge enters the battlefield tap. That's fine. Indestructible land. What? That's OP. No, no wonder these boosters are so expensive. Vermin Gorger. Sacrifice two of the... Sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses two life and gain one two life. Floodhound, investigate, create a colors. Clue artifact with two sacrifice artifact or a card. Wow. It's flare. Affinity for artifact. Are these in? Are these in? Yeah. Affinity for artifact. Spell costs one life to cast for each artifact you control. Once flood deals far damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Wow. Collider Scorch. <laughs> Converge. Collider Scorch deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors of mana spent to guess this spell. Flashback 4. <gasps> of course, right, I see. Combine Chrysalis. You're such a freaking boomer. Yeah, this is Magic the Gathering. You call yourself a boomer. Magic the Gathering came out in, what, like 80, 86, 87? And uh, the, the release, they were doing the betas and... It's very old, very old card game. You were born in 86? Like heck you were. You were born in 96, maybe. I'm looking at that face. You haven't got enough lines to have been born in 86. Guess you missed it. It's been a very popular card game since it came out, but it's fine if you don't play card games. I understand not having any hype for it. Uh, this is an old booster pack by any stretch of the imagination. What's this? 2021, apparently. That's last year. That's all. Uh, creature tokens you control have flying. Oh. A cool forest land. The thing that I don't like about the printing of the Magic the Gathering cards is you get these lines across them, uh, or down them. I don't know if it's from, like, the printer rollers or whatever. Verdant Catacombs. Land. Pay one life, sacrifice Verdant Catacombs, foot Shalandry for Swamp or Forest Guard, put them to the battlefield and the shuffle. Lame. Kitchen Imp. Flying Haste. Madness. Dark. I don't know what Madness does, but good. Turok, Dread Cantor, Kicker 2. It was kicked to do a thing. I've been done again. I've been... Uh, it's, yeah, it's a reprint. This is definitely a reprint. It says 2021 on the card. But they sent me a, a damn old card. <laughs> See how the border looks weird? Protection from white? Oh, yeah, protection from white. Very nice. Radkos, Headliner, Haste, and Echo, discard a card. Very cool. Another one! That's two in the same booster pack, step through, and it's very shiny. It is... it is ungodly shiny. It stood on the card. It's... what? 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 I'm st what? Oh, wow. How do they make it so feckin' shiny? Uh, well, that's a very good question. I believe there's a, a bunch of different ways they do it, but um, it's kind of like masking. So stuff like this, they'll print the whole thing on a on a shimmer foil, um, and they'll use a translucent ink. You see uh, the doorway here. That's that's fairly opaque because it's using a black and a brown mixed together. Um, printing technology is, is is a mystery in its own right. It's very hard to get a translucent black pigment though. Um, but you see the green stuff is pretty much white when it shines. Uh, Riptide Laboratory. Return target wizard you control to its owner's hand. Okay, that's interesting. Garth One-Eye, but this this stuff is the same, but it, it doesn't have a textured front. I guess that's the only difference. And then stuff like this will have a mask applied, uh, either on top of the shininess or around the shininess. So they'll, they'll have a little box which stops the shiny being pressed onto the card. Or they'll have a box that goes on top of the shiny that stops the shiny being shiny. Apart from the odd stripes. The quality seems very good. Eh, they've been doing it a while. I, I think they get their... Uh, I think they got their, their stuff together about this stuff. But um, they do... The Magic the Gathering stuff especially has got like lines either down or across. Like in a perfect 90 degree. I'm guessing it's from rollers in the factory where they're made. Or, or the, the packing. Uh, choose a card name that hasn't been chosen from among... Disenchant, Brainslayer, Terra, Shivan, Shivan Dragon, Regrowth of Black Lotus. Create a copy of that card with the chosen name. You may cast the copy. What? Oh 
Oh my goodness gracious me! Oh, see you Lumi and see you Dev. Enjoy your food and enjoy your lack of potatoes. You can use this to cast Black Lotus one time. You can use this to create a Black Lotus token one time. It costs five mana, but wow. Black Lotus for uh, is is a powerful Magic the Gathering card. You see, there's there's a big line down that crab. There's a, you can see that. That's. I don't know if that'll come off with a bit of alcohol or something. It looks like it's... Ah, there's a gouge in it as well. What the hell? Right there. It is what it is. I use them for playing usually. Not not collecting, but um, yeah. Thanks again for the sub, and I'll uh, I'll do something with those. I have more binders now. I <laughs> embarrassingly, I have run out of room in my binders, so I had to buy more binders to put the cards in to keep them safe. And I have now just five opened, unopened booster packs to put into binders. What a nice interlude. I was hoping I could open one of those. That was fun. I was it was fun for me at least. I like I like to pace myself on the booster packs. And I, I say that with a, a a large chunk of salt. Cause I have so many to open. But like if I if I were just to buy them for myself and open them whenever I wanted to. You know, I'd I'd be a lot poorer. <laughs> So it's it's a nice it's a nice kind of bottleneck on the card opening speeds, in my opinion. Now it lets me enjoy them. Do I have a bunch of unopened packs? Yes, I have. For subs, I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen unopened packs for subscribers, and then I want to count them. They are right here, though. There's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 unopened packs for every 10 followers. So that's 320 followers. Potential. That's going to take a long time, but there are plenty of people out there not following me already, so... Just plenty of potential to open those as well. And the ones for subscribers, because this is really weird. I have I've got a an interesting ratio of followers to subscribers. I have obviously monthly subscribers. The ones which are gonna have good cards in are in that pile, so I'll get to those. And the ones which are gonna have average to common cards in them are should it be the other way around? Have I done a have I done a, a brain? Anyway, I don't really care. I'm not changing it now. Maybe he's fixing this bridge over here, right? I don't remember what happened to this lad. I hope he's still alive. Oh, he did fix this bridge over here. And I say fix with air quotes. This isn't this is just a log. But yeah, I, d I do on I do enjoy the what do you call it? The rush of adrenaline, a bit of gambling, but only within its limits, you know. Something I can afford, something that doesn't impact me financially, something that doesn't impact me financially if it goes wrong, you know. So I have. So there are basically no intrinsic value to a playing card, but. I have recently received these in booster packs. And these have extrinsic value, I guess. They're rare. They're rare, okay? According to the player base, they're rare. And apparently, if I sold them, I'd be able to buy a lot more booster packs. But, um, we'll see. We'll see. It's one of those things. Collectibles are always like that. I don't I don't really especially like the idea of collectible things being more expensive than uncollectible things. Like the Black Lotus, as we mentioned earlier, I freaked out because I saw the word Black Lotus. The actual card itself is fairly useful, but it's I mean there's other cards which do the same thing as you can see. That lad there lets me 
put a Black Lotus token on the on the battlefield and just use it as if I have the card in my deck, right? The Black Lotus is a land, and you can tap it for two of any color. Two of any color? Three of any color? It's it's silly powerful. I, I gotta look it up, actually. Uh, Black Lotus. But it's um, sought after for tournament decks because it's very good. Uh, yeah, here it is. Add three mana of any single color to your choice, your mana pool. Then is discarded tapping. This artifact can be played as an inter... Wait, what? Mono mono artifact. Add three mana of any single color of your choice to your mana pool, then is discarded. Tapping this artifact can be played as an interrupt. Yeah, so it's not a land, it's an artifact. But it's um Yeah. Powerful. Used in tournament play a lot for getting silly stuff to happen. And it's rare. Right. There's, there's not a lot of those cards in print because it was a pretty silly, smelly card to have made in the first place. And so the price of a Black Lotus card is quite high. Passage of countless years has taken its toll or reduced this ancient tome to look more than faded cover around some tattered scraps of paper and a thread. But wait! There's a letter, one and faded but still legible, hidden inside. Looks like the rest of the message that the men minstrel in Arboria mentioned. Take a closer look. But wherefore must it be so? This world may be unchanged as beauteous as e'er it was. But without thee, all seemeth grey and muted. My chest is fit to burst. My dearest Erdwin, each new day I must endure without thee, pierceth my heart like a dagger. I can do naught but cling vainly to the hope that one day we might be reunited at last. Until then, my songs are thine, and thine alone. I pray that they might reach thee. Wherever thou might be. Near. Far. <laughs> uh, you've read the second page of the letter that Menstrual told you about. You should head back to our and tell him about what you saw. About what it said? I don't have eyes. I just assume text. Reading is for dummies. Uh, I've been thinking about my game recently. It's it's easy to think about things that you're not working on, right? And I've taken two weeks, three weeks off to do jams. Successful or nay. <laughs> a learning experience, we'll call it. But I feel like my game is going to end up having a day-night cycle. I feel like my game is going to have simulated passage of time. But I want... I, I feel like it's going to be more like Persona than this. This is real time. It's meant to be real time. I think if you talk to someone, it, it stops time. But Yes, this is it. Pray allow me to read both parts all together. Ahem, and dost thou recall, my love, when we did, too did gaze upon the beauty of all over Drea? The sky, so deep and blue, did seem like to swallow us whole. The sea burned matter red, stained by the light of the setting sun, and all around us Yggdrasil's leaves did shine with the light of life. The heavenly vision I saw with thee, that day seared itself into my very soul. There shall I forget it, though I live for all eternity. But wherefore must it be so? This world may be unchanged, as beauteous as e'er it was, but without thee all seemeth grey and muted. My chest is fit to burst, my dearest Udrin. Each new day I must endure without thee pierceth my heart like a dagger. I can do naught but cling vainly to the hope that one day we might be reunited at last. Until then, my songs are thine and thine alone. I pray that they might reach thee, wherever thou might be. My word, such passion in that name, Erdwin, could that be? This letter is addressed to the Luminary of Legend? <gasps> of course! The tales tell of a star-crossed romance between mighty Erdwin and the great sage Serenica. This can only be a love letter from Serenica herself. What an honour it is to read such heartfelt worlds from the pen of one so illustrious. One feels as if one is witnessing the glory of the Age of Heroes first hand. Pray, take this. Tis but a token of gratitude I feel for you having allowed me to read these beautiful words at long last. <sighs> Receive the recipe book, Things to Do with Metal Goo. Reads it cover to cover, learns its incredible contents by heart. Learns how to make metal slime swords, metal great swords, metal goomerangs. God, I 
hate the voice acting for the goose. It's so silly. Oh, there's tokens in there. That's why they won't go down. Come on. Don't mess with me. Oh, okay. It's messed with me. I've had to take it. Uh, metal slime spears, metal slime shields, metal slime helms. I've already made, I've already bought a bunch of this, in fact. Metal slime armor. Love letters to the Age of Heroes. Ah, I could not have dreamed of anything more romantic than this. I am brimming with ideas for a new song on the subject of Erdwin and Serenica's love. It's all thanks to you. <sighs> and why are we doing quests? So we have the... Are you okay? Bud. Bud, are you, are you stood ominously in the middle of town? Are you good, friend? You're not in your house. Luminary, I think the heavens... I thank the heavens. You are still with us. As long as you are alive, hope lives also. Pray, go forth, defeat the hated Lord of Shadows, and restore peace to this ruined realm. That is what our little angel would have wanted. Oh. Serenia is not a child anymore. If it is her heartfelt wish to join you on your travels, I will not stand in her way. But I beg of you, Luminary, do not take any unnecessary risks. Promise me that you will come back to us safe and sound. Well, game ends if I don't, so <laughs> we create an alternate timeline. <laughs> Whip out this fun size forge and see if any of the gear that we can make is actually any good. Um, metal slime sword. Metal great sword. Exceptionally sturdy, double-handed blade made for slicing through metal monsters. Metal goomerang. Metal slime spear. Oh, wow. Oh, this stuff is very poggers. 225, 254. Oh, yes. Metal slime armor is equipped. Yeah, we're going to have to equip all... We're going to have to make all this stuff. Oh, it's going to cost so much money. Fake money, but I mean, all the same. Uh, where's Triple Whammy? Close enough, right? We'll get a plus one, surely. Okay. That's fine. Metal great sword. Oh, I didn't sell all my molten globules. Oh, thank God. I was panicking there. Full panic. Eight for eighteen or four for seven four for fourteen, but it's uncontrollable. How about Poopy? Whatever. 
What a mess. A plus one, okay. I had three gold bars, but uh, I don't understand how this crafting works. Metal goomerang. Slime spear. Slime spear, yes. How how we don't have metal slime claws is beyond me, but whatever. Uh double edged is eight. Multi bash is multi bash is seven. Wow. Oh. Nice. Ah. Uh. It is what it is. It's uh, it's my knowledge that you can't fail crafting. But you can fail crafting, absolutely. Three of these? Oh, Serena can equip this. What the flip? Protect against attacks of all enemies? Elements? Three hats, two armors. Don't have the necessary materials. Slime drop cannot be bought. Slime drop. Oh no. Oh no. And now we go. Craft him. A beautiful plus three. I want to upgrade the metal great sword. Do I? Yeah. Increased chance of a critical hit. Mmm. Mmm. But this does more damage. Mmm. I just did the wrong one, didn't I? Oops. Ah. Uh... Oh, 
I'll take another plus three though. We can always buy perfectionist pills. We can't buy slime drops apparently. Which is um interesting. DQ eleven. Slime drop. So it drops off Slime Knight, Slime, King Slime, Heal Slime, and Bubble Slime. Recipe Ingredient, Metal Slime Armor. Metal Slime, a whole bunch of other stuff too. Why, <laughs> why are you advertising Ikea to me? Bubble Slime, King Slime. Insula Orientalis Chauve Sauvage. Does slime drops drop off um, vicious, vicious king slimes? That's not really a significant increase in damage, is it? I've been tricked into building that. Uh, we got the spear, though, right? Uh, Serena can do the spear, right? Slices straight through metal monsters and is endlessly entrancing to all kinds of slimes. Flip. Not all kinds of monsters. Not all kinds of beasts. Just slimes. Fine. Oh, we don't need this anymore either. Critical chance back down to 5%. Well, let's have a cheeky save, and, um... If we can just go to the... What is that foreboding rumble? That is not a friendly sound. In loving memory of Veronica, daughter of Fidelis and Alma, sister of Serena, Sion, Serenica, and Savior of the Luminary. I'm... okay. What about the promise flower lady? Huh? Huh? What is that foreboding rumble? It sounds like I was in the second level of Doom, it's, uh, Doom 2016. Uh, quest catalog. Richie's Rock Hard Roulette Challenge. Richie's Roulette Challenge. Ring the jackpot on a special roulette table. Let's just play anyone you want. All my see when it's top prize. Vest for success. I don't know what that is. Can't be accepted yet. Can I count it from the Romans? 
Imperial Pantry Parthenia, Chateau Felix, Roman Encampment, Ruby Ruby Path of Doom. Right, okay, so let's go back to uh, Tickington. We can at least pick up some quests, if not also complete some quests. I don't think we can complete the quests, I think, I think we can pick them up. We get the um, Ruby Path of Doom, it's a very dangerous place. And the Imperial Pantry Parthenia is also a very dangerous place. Probably won't go there, but um, don't look at the playtime, don't look at the playtime, don't look at the playtime, don't look at the playtime. Uh, it doesn't stay over 100 hours. Do you, know, do you know what is strange to me? The strangest... The strangest thing to me is that... <laughs> the, the friendly viewer who, who paid for this game has not come to watch it. A shame. A shame. I mean, you know, they can do what they like. It's, it's their time, it's their money, but... You know? It just, it just seems... Strange. You know? If you... Yes, I would like to visit the Chateau if you like. Oh, we have to fight him instantly, don't we? Poopy. Calm down there. There's a good kitty. This is a catastrophe. I don't mean to be a scaredy cat, but you've got to help me, please. Thank you. If you could just get it to shoe, I'd be eternally grateful. Grrr. Mmm. I love the music, by the way. Dragon Quest VIII. Dragon Quest VIII, one of the best, best games ever made. No one got attacked? Whisker crack. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> that was that was a lot faster than I remember being. The great saber cat slinks off. Yo, you big time. Was been then a whisker of getting mauled there. Seemed to be kept up to that thing. Lately, he keeps coming around and growling at me. I'm terrified that one day he's gonna pounce. Normally, I can get any cat poon in no time, but he's completely feral. It's got all the other kitties terrified. If someone doesn't do something soon, I'm worried that they'll all run away. I wanna I wanna stop you there. I wanna stop you there. What's his name? He's got a he's got a name. Tim. Alex. It's been a long time since I played Dragon Quest 8. Give me a break. Don't say Felix. Felix is the guy inside the house. He's, um... Klaus? No. He's Felix's aide. 
So enough pussyfoot around. I was just gonna say, they're in cages, they can't run away. It's physically impossible for them to... That's why they're in... Because... Oh, for God's sake. I look like you know a thing or two. I was wondering if you'd be able to bring something to me that might help tame that savage beast. What'd you say? Once to find something to calm down, great so get gone wild. Yeah, beast claws. Yeah, thank you, I knew you wouldn't let me down. No, I don't believe I've introduced myself. My name's Tom. This cat is called Tom. He served Master Felix, the owner of this house. As you can probably guess, I have some real fondness for felines of all descriptions, and when the cat doesn't get my cunt, can even talk their language. The wild cats think tough, he muttered something, and the name is Breath Bianca. Anyway, might help you in your quest for the thing that will tame him. Apparently someone called Bianca has got something to do with it. Can we talk to Felix? Lame. I did that last time as well, didn't I? Oh, I know I did. I know I did. Ah. Uh, Altar of the Forgotten Past, etched into the stone monument, Roma encampment. Yes, I would like to visit the old Roma encampment. The encampment of the Romas. I want to break their pots and talk to their lady folk. Ah, it is rare indeed for us to have visitors. I'm only sorry we cannot give you a proper Roma welcome. This is a difficult time, you see. Lala, our most gifted dancer, has been struck down by grave illness, and all we can do is offer up our prayers in the most sacred ritual dance. What is that you say? You're looking for a prince? Ah, uh, I know who you seek, but I'm afraid you're out of luck. He sat out on a journey. He will not be back for some time, I fear. The Teen Gold Coin. Greetings, Gajo. My name is Rom Barrow, and I am leader of the Roma clan. On behalf of all my people, I bid you welcome. In the normal run of things, we would eat, drink, and make merry to celebrate the appearance of guests in our midst. However, I'm sorry to say that you have chosen an inopportune moment to appear. The sad truth is that young Lala, who dances for us all our rites and festivities, was attacked by a monster, and she has been struck down by a terrible, mysterious malady. We have done all we can to cure her, but remedies, prayers, and ritual dances. Nothing has worked. She has continued. She continues to suffer terribly. But as a last resort, Lala's hub, husband, Kifa, has set off in search of a rare gem that is said to have the power to cure all ailments. However, he has not yet returned. Can we talk about how much of a masterpiece Dragon Quest VIII is? It's just... it's fantastic. We were expecting him to be home by now, and I confess to being a little concerned. The lad is a brave warrior who can hold his own against any foe, but... Could some misfortune perhaps have befallen him? Please understand that I do not make a habit of asking strangers for assistance, but it seems to me that Providence has brought you to us. As I ask you humbly to help in, us in our hour of need, will you search for Kiefer and aid him in his quest to find the precious healing gem? Yes. Marvelous, thank you, kind stranger. Thank you. Kiefer said he was later heading to the mine where these precious gems are said to be found. Gems is known as rainbow rocks, and melodious names might suggest they come in a range of colors, but Kiefer was very specific about the one he wanted. Green. All we can do now is pray that you succeed. On all, behalf of all my people, I beseech you find Kiefer. Yggdrasil is in StarCraft as well. Who knew? Uh, find Kiefer, that green gem. Save Lala's life. I've never played StarCraft, Mr. Mr. John Games. I have never played StarCraft in my entire life. I have watched from the sidelines and made ponderous StarCraft meme jokes as other people have played StarCraft in my midst, but I have never once touched the controls myself. Nor have I investigated the law. I am very bad at RTS games. Um, I... I, I just, I'm just bad at RTS. I like... The city building aspect, but when you mix that with like the fighty building aspects, multitasking, man, I can't do it. I just, I, I like building the city, funding and raising an army powerful enough to defend the city. Ah, it's, it's hard. And the funny thing is, when I play games like um, the Banished, I'm like, well, this would, this is cool, but it would be cooler if there was like some combat mechanics. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't know um, StarCraft had had some Norse Norse stuff going on. I thought it was about aliens. Uh, 
and now we are at a rare juncture where I want to save the game, but I cannot unless I leave this place. But I feel like I probably want to go into the mine, but I feel like I'm probably going to die if I go into the mine, so I'm going to have to save. I'm going to have to go out and save. Um, yeah, StarCraft. Crazy, crazy game. Last RTS I played, Halo Wars 2, apparently. Last, last RTS I actually played, played. Dawn of War... Warhammer Dawn of War 1, Soulstorm. I... <laughs> I was I was fighting my friends, thank goodness. The AI is, is hard in RTS games. I was fighting my friends. We were having a friendly scuffle. Um, and I was playing as the Eldar. And one of my friends was playing as the Orcs. And one of my friends was playing as... I can't remember, I think it was either the uh, Imperials or Space Marines. Maybe. Anyway, they, they blew up my HQ, so I couldn't build any new buildings, right? I couldn't, I couldn't generate any more workers. But I had hidden a majority share of my base in warp gate zones so they were invisible they couldn't see like where my base was or what my base was doing and i had i had still two tank factories <laughs> completely fine and serviceable uh, and without an hq you can't you can't build builders but it'll still like it still gives you an infantry allowance like, like a tank allowance so i was just every every so often building a tank making it invisible pushing it out to one corner of the map doing a little skirmish on his base and I, I, I did this for hours. Like I was the first person to get knocked out of the game, quote unquote, because the HQ is gone. But I was, I was in the game like until ten minutes before the, the very end, where they figured out that I was in one alcove that they hadn't checked yet, and they were like, "Hang on a second. It was very funny. They're still mad about that too. Don't bring it up with them. <laughs> My one victory was actually a defeat. Uh, so we need to go to the, the mystical, mystical mines. Ruby Pattern? No. Ruby Pattern? No. No. Rainbow Mines? Yes. That's exactly where we need to go. Oh boy. Okay. That's a trap. If you're thinking of heading in there, keep your wits about you. There's many who got in, but not so many who made it out. Sure, this chap with a shock of blonde hair is uh, just after going out with a determined look in his face. Said something about looking for green jam. It's been a fair while now. Can't help worrying something untoward has happened. Ah! What's this? If fromage fray, fromage flay, rarefied. <laughs> Cup buff. Okay, they're not they're not strong. That's the that's all I wanted to find out. Wormaline. Fairy fluff, nice. That's a rare drop. Oh no. Is this really what we have to do? What 
Well, the first time I came in here, it was, they just, they just, they were enemies. You just fought them. God damn. So I'm also pretty bad at puzzle games, um, right? Oh, the whole party is pushing this, wow. This is interesting. There's nothing down there, is there? No. Okay. This is where we fought the lad. Ah! Oh! Yeah. Very good. No green gems present at the moment. Help! Help! Can anybody hear me? <laughs> I'm in a bit of trouble here and I need help getting out. Well, you found your green stuff. Good for you. Okay. I think I got this. I think I I think I understand the the metric of operation here. No. It's fine. It didn't stop our progress. Might have stopped our achievements, though. Hey! No! <laughs> Don't reset it! 
Thanks, I owe you one. I've been to this mine before, so I thought I'd be a toddler getting through it, but I ended up in a bit of a jam. Just taking a closer look at the rainbow rocks, try giving one of them a shove, must have triggered something before, and you, you were trapped. Just glad you came along when you did. What were you doing all the way down here? Anyway, what's that? Ron Burroughs, you'd come search for someone called Kiefer? Well, you found your man. I am him. Suppose I've been gone a while. Everyone must be worried. Well, I appreciate you coming and looking for me. You not want to take your green gem? Everything's worked out too. I found what I was looking for. This green gem here will fix the lot up in no time. Good. If excuse me, I can't keep my wife waiting a second longer. You're not going anywhere. Ah, where did you come from? Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I got places to be, so you wouldn't mind buggering all. I mean, <laughs> big backside. Did no one teach you manners, boy? I am Obstructicus. My master ordered me to st 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 stimmy, st to block, to impede all who dare come here. Yet now you attempt to turn the tables to prevent me from discharging my duties. This is unforgivable. Enough is enough. You are surely supremely annoying. You must pay the price. Ah, uh, this is just what I needed. Normally I'd be more than happy to take on this big lump, but I'm afraid I'm not lacking the weaponry department right now. Well, it just so happens I have 18 swords in my backpack, friend. You can take all of them. Heh. You are pathetic. Perhaps your companions will offer more of a challenge. You heard the man. Sorry to do this, but I'm going to have to leave this one to you. Good luck. See ya. Just pieces out with his gem. Leaves me to fight Obstructica. That is not what we saw on the world map, my friend. That is a statue. Um, Cub off. Noise. Uh, gun edge? No. No. This, uh, this lad's strong. Mesmerize, huh? Yep. 
Oh, we got a pet power. What can we do here? Capra. Yeah, no, I don't know why I cast him off as well. Oh, he's defeated anyway. Oh, well, jolly good. 11,000 experience, 5,000 gold. Hendrik. No. Defeating Obstructicus appears to have restored the Rainbow Rocks to their original color. Boo. Yeah, tougher than you look. I'm impressed. In fact, you remind me of an old friend of mine. Jim. But this isn't the sign for a trip down memory lane. I have to get back to Lala right away. I owe you one. You really got me out of a jam. Ha head back to the Roman cabin. I'm sure I'll find you a nice reward. You can just use evac to get out of here. That's nice. That's a nice touch. And then we have to remember which one the Roman encampment's at. Top, top right. Top, top right. This one. This one. This one. Yeah. Greetings, noble Gajo. My husband told me that you did for him, and for me. I owe you my life. I hope he did not cause you any trouble. Dear as he is to me, I am not unaware of his faults. When he is focused on something, he can sometimes fail to take full account of others. In any case, you rescued him, and I am forever grateful to you. Know that you are always welcome here. Ah, there you are. Good to see you. Having to report that dear wife is back to her old self, dancing like an angel once again. She's very important to the Romans, you see. The dance... She allow them to maintain a sacred bond with the Almighty or something like that. And my job is to protect her. What you're looking so antsy for anyway is something you want to ask me? Nope. Fair enough, all I know is I couldn't have saved Lala without you. I owe you one. Here we go. I found Ra rather lost keeping the rainbow mines, defeated the monsters, and causing all the confusion. Go back to the Rome Rock and give Rome Barrow the good news. She was powerful indeed, and those who need to bring Milano shall up from a sick bed brim with energy. Bath on the I'd like to thank you for what you have done. Please accept this humble offering. Yes, there's one more thing. Curious though it is to relate, there's some kind of inscription on the Green Gem can be brought back. I'm afraid I do not have the faintest clue what it might mean, but what did you share it with you? Thank you. The Roma encampment has been added to the list of locations you can travel from the altar of the forgotten past. What? What? But I'm here! I'm here! Dude! I'm here. Keith is the guardian of the Romans due to protect the sacred dance of Lara at all costs. If Freddy was worried to come out for the job, he's too light, but his butt better heads small and a few occasions. He's a fine guardian and a fine husband to Lala together. I know that we'll be able to lead our people no matter what kind of adversity we face. Hey, Kifa. So what do you think? She's amazing dance, right? When she starts to move, I know the Almighty sits up and takes notice. But just one word of warning, don't go falling in love with her, okay? I had to go through a lot to marry her. She's very much my better half and I intend to keep her that way. What are you looking so fancy for? You want to ask me? Yes. What's that? Head of Prince Kanak has been through here. Well, there was this laid-back sort of fellow who came by and uh, asked if I was the Prince of Middenhall. Told him he was right about me being royalty, but that I was the Prince of Star, not Middenhall, wherever that is. Wandered off looking very disappointed. He was a bit of an oddball, though, to be honest. He was wanting something about going to a cave with a weird name, looking for some princess. What was it again, the Imperial Pantry of Parthenia? Don't want to go in there. Weird, like I say. To top it all off, he was walking away. He just vanished into thin air. I'd love to know what his story is. The Imperial Pantry of Parthenia. 
don't want to go there. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's... I was about to break break into song, but I, I held it back. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're safe. For now. But speaking of breaking into song, how about we break into drink? If you're very lucky, I may have returned. I want to see what's in this. I've walked past it like eight times today. And there was nothing in it! Are you kidding me? Nothing. No item. I just came out to save. It really is a pain that there's no save point in there. Oh, I found on, I say I found, <laughs> some dude on the Unreal Engine developers forum posted a link to a website that allows you to create a cube map from an HDRI. I thought that was pretty cool. Because I think maybe creating an HDRI is easy. Creating a cube map is difficult because it requires, um, what do you call it? planar projection of us the internal sides of a sphere which causes you know that the the, the flexing of the image the, um, the the distortion at the corners the edges the seams I have no idea how to do that he, he wasn't even asking if anyone used used the tool he was asking if anyone used uh, a plugin for Photoshop or another graphics editing software uh, if they did that like manually Bianca, all trades, no. Do we know anyone called Bianca? Rose? Erdrick's future home? Kallak Castle? I don't know at this point, I'm, I'm grasp, graspulizing at straws. My beloved son did set out forces to join the Prince of Middenhold, Princess of Nimbaruk. Yet, yeah, rather than part of forces, you vanish into thin like puff smoke. And scant learn the further details of Romans beyond this. No, no, this is just really, 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 really success. My dude. Prayer. Thou approachest a place wherein the kingdom's most sacred treasures, the relics of the mighty Odric, are housed. None may enter without royal assent. Aye, buddy. Door is locked tight. Door is locked tight. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. We can move on safely. Garlandhorn. Let's check it out. Maybe there's something cool here. Hmm? Maybe there's someone called Bianca here. Fled the invasion. Was more like the best. How fun of love home lost. You don't look like a Bianca to me. I mean, you never know. Billy, welcome to Garlandhorn. Once time, you're in the legend of God. I want to join the green much more Fairly, I've never met a man that felt truly worthy of my trust. My sense that that has something noble in my soul is different than the ugliest surrounded the roads and the hitherto encountered. Tis a lot to ask, but should take a like to home without perhaps that might make their home here. Oh, oh, cool. Uh, thank you. No, treasure chest is empty. Savior Gal home. It's been a while since I've been here, huh? But there is, uh, there's nothing to do here, so that's, that's good. Be 
Bianca, Bianca, Bianca. Bianca, Bianca, Bianca. Roma encampment, night time. Bro. Bro, this is good. This is good. Nighttime Roma encampment. I'm not sure what Rom Barrow was thinking when he suggested we master the Ataban. Doesn't feel like something a grown up should be doing. Uh, better not be complaining though. Dum de dum 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 da dum. So nice to meet you again. Have you spoken at Lala Kifi yet? I think they really should. People have been suffering one setback after another recently. I think they really appreciate having someone outside the client they can talk to. Still can't believe it. Someone sneaked sneaked into our camp and cut all the tall band strings. Who could do such a thing like that? Sneaked. <laughs> it's not fair. I want to be a tall band player when I grew up. I've been practicing since I was tiny, but now I'll get my now I'll never get my big chance. Everyone else seems to be playing their tall bands fine, buddy. I think it's just yours. We have spent our lives listening to the sound of the tall band. Now, even without it, I can somehow feel its melodies and rhythms reverberating within me. In fact, I had a little dram of our sacred drink, Water of Life, we call it the Spirit of the Dance. I'm sure I could dance up a storm. Jan, 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 jan. This is the most sacred ceremony of the Roman people, the music of the tall band, the rhythm of our dances. It's fine, form prayer to the Almighty. Well, that's the idea, but some terrible image in a slice roll our tall band strings and are reduced to pretending to play. Oh! They're literally saying dum da dum dum da dum dum with them with their faces, but holding the tall bands. It's not the most dignified display, but what choice do we have? Now sit back and enjoy the world's finest air tall band cards. Oh air right, so that it's it's a guitar. That it's egg I get it. I thought the air the first person you talk to just refers to it as the air toban. I thought that was the whole thing. Like a weirding device, right? You don't think about that kind of thing, right? It just goes in. That's the name of the thing. The first the foot they, they tell you and it's that. You understand what I mean? Are you familiar with the weirding way? You know, when they first suggested that they sing the Torban part, so I danced, I thought they'd lost their minds, but that's not so bad. <laughs> can still feel the rhythm of the music flowing through me. Even if it's not quite the real thing. It's like my feet have a mind of their own. Ah, oh, well, this is see again. You'll notice that things have changed a lot since we last tested. Yes, it's night time. Since I'm in Molina, people have traveled the world and used our most sacred music to dance and dance to pray for the restoration of the Almighty. You've joined us right in the middle of a church. One such ceremony, but there is says it's a little unusual. Exquisite tones of the tall band have uh, always been an essential part of our rituals, but tragedy has struck and all the strings of our sacred instruments have been cut by some heartless fiend. In desperation, we have been reduced to what one might call the air tall band, mimicking the parts that would normally be played on the tall band and hoping that the Almighty can, can forgive us. But in truth, we all know that, that this will not do. We will soon attempt our most sacred ceremony, the restoration of the Almighty. For that, we must dance the music of the most sacred tall band of truth. Restoring the Almighty is the most sacred duty of our people. But an attempt to use it with the Torben with no strings, why? It would be doomed to failure and would only bring shame unto our ancestors. This is why I must humbly ask for your assistance again. Will you help us repel the Torben of Truth so we may fulfill our sacred destiny duty? Yes. Thank you. Truly save our people, let me tell you the strings of Torben of Truth may be replaced. There's a very rare item known as the Golden Maid. If you could acquire one, it might be able to repel the Torben of Truth. According to the ancient stories of people, it can be obtained by the great hounds who guard the tower where flying horses dwell. This may as well all sound like nonsense, but if you ever come across such a place, please do your best to bring this item we need. We, etern we will be eternally grateful. <sighs> Flying horses guarding a tower. I've seen a, bit, a fair bit of love. Never heard of a tower filled with flying horses. This isn't going to be easy, but please do what you can. Anyway, uh, you've got something to ask me, haven't you? Yeah. What's that? Have I seen it? Really? Uh, that sort of fellow. You go, yeah, let me think. He said something about searching for the princess first. Whatever that means. Welcome. You've come in time for my big performance. Jan, 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 <laughs> jan. You can get a note out of the tall bands, you see, so you have to take another approach. Fingers crossed as the dulcet tones will please the almighty. Jan, 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 jan. I, I love it. This is so stupid. Dude, look. I, I know it's fake, but that's a nice touch, right? 
Someone has animated the reflection of the fire in the water in the water pail, pail next to the fire in the animation of the fire. Light on the water pail next to the fire. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Completely erroneous in this day and age. Like, yeah, you'd just have a bucket there, wouldn't you? Even in 2D engines these days, they've got great lighting effects that you can you can leverage. You can use 3D rendering methods to affect the 2D rendering. You could give it like a bump map and an occlusion map. You could give it like a, you could use a height map to create occlusion cones of light and height map to set the site the height of a light, and then you could use a you could use an invisible 3D object to dynamically occlude it. You could use like a voxel representation of the the 3D garbage. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could you could approach that problem. It is a problem though. Like if you want dynamic lighting, you 2D game. You need light sources and light blockers, and you have to make them. And there aren't built-in methods for this, but there are methods to do it. Forgive me, frantically saving like a madman, but this game has crashed and corrupted my save once, and this game is notoriously hard, so... I don't want to go somewhere and get wiped out and lose an hour picking up quests, you know what I mean? That would just be- that would just suck. That would cause me to end the stream. You know? That would be like... Altar of the Undecipher, Ruby Revival. Eh, I want the Ruby Ruby Path of Doom, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I require the Ruby Path of Doom. Wait! Let me guess. You've come here to add to the chorus of complaints. Yay! Oh, well, that's no surprise. Truly, I have no idea why I've been forced to bear the brunt of much dissatisfaction. No. And he gives you a quest to say no. Mad about maps, so we have to go into the ruby path of... Aya! I'm gonna save ya. And you, you know what, that... <laughs> a reaction it may have been, but... The last time I tried the ruby path of doom, it, it did not end well. I don't have a lot of holy water, I can't just keep... I can't just keep inhaling the holy water. You know what I mean? This should, this should only take a sec, don't, don't worry about it. I thought I already had the quest, that's all. Easy peasy. So we have two quests to do in here. We have so some some dude, and also clearing out the ruby path of doom. Oh wow! Um, Okay, so nothing nothing's massively strong. That's strong enough though. Thank you. 
Do I even have a single holy water? I can use a Drazilian Sovereign. Oh. Yeah, turn, yeah, I don't have, I don't have one. Something tells you it would be a bad idea to go any further. <laughs> Big beast horn. What can boyas? I look like the Splatoon thing. What even is that enemy? It's so brutal. Almost died. Yeah. Nothing down there. Let's go! I wish I could, like, bring up a map of the area. That'd be great. Oh, the chest. Earn a Saint's Ashes. Always useful. Fromage Fay. I'll pretend I didn't read those messages. I'll just pretend that those battle messages didn't exist, okay?
experience. Yellow eye. We're still getting... What was that noise? Yo, what was that noise? What? Ooh, chesties. Too stunned to move. That sounds like a perfect chance to get out of here. Thank you. See the therapeutics. See the deafness. Slime, right? Slime, slime, I think this, this portion of the game is an excellent highlight where you need, you need animations to lead the, the player around the screen. See the defense, great. And then the stairs, the stairs are up at the top, there's nothing down there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very good. I feel like I should be getting XP just because there's so many fights. Oh no. And these encounters are listed as too weak to be worthwhile for the party to gain XP from. And they... They just... Took... Took the main character out of existence. Jade has, doesn't have any healing spells. Before you say... Jade had a turn before the heal... Gonna heal the main... Jade doesn't do healing magic. Serena does healing magic. Solano does healing magic. Main character does healing magic. Two of those three were queued up to do healing magic, and Serena is the slowest of all three of them. Uh, so I, I think I had a fair chance of not dying instantly in that in that engagement, and yet, and yet, I was targeted unfairly by this weird cheetah dragon orc dragon hybrid. <laughs> She's gonna kick us back to the main menu. And uh, I can't be angry. We've made a decent amount of progress in the Dragon Quest today. Okay, we 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 have beaten a few bosses. We did we? Did we beat a few? Yeah, we beat a few bosses. We beat exactly two bosses. Um, and you know what? That's pro any progress is is worth celebrating I think um, so I'm happy with that I'm angry that I got killed in the movie pathogen absolutely that's why I'm idling on the main menu and not going back into the game for a few seconds if I go back into the game I'm very tempted just to not go back into the game maybe play a different game for a few a few minutes huh how would you like to play a different game for a few minutes how about I do my talk out for the YouTube and then we do a twitch only a twitch only stream stream only Gameplay. Do you know what just came out? The Witch Queen expansion pack for Destiny 2 just came out. So maybe we could play some of that. Maybe uh, I can get real angry at PvP and I can get real angry at PvE and I can play it on hard mode and we can have a good time. I just... Most weeks if I get TPK'd in Dragon Quest XI, I'll just go back... I'll just straight go back into Dragon Quest XI, right? You know me. I'm durable, but this week is not one of those weeks. So I'll do my talk out and then we'll change game. Thank you everyone for coming to watch the live video. If you came to watch the live video, well, if you came to watch the live video, thank you, Ban Ben, for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it here. Yeah. Thank you, Irish John Games, for the subscription. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It helps me grow. And if you're not following, I have to say, if you're not following Irish John Games and you're into game development, you are missing a trick. Go check, go check Mr. Irish John Games out on Twitch. Um, thanks everyone for hanging out in the live video. If you hung out in the live video, Devro, Lumi, Lumi Shorts. 
I thank you for coming to watch the video on demand. If you came to watch the video on demand, and as always, I will see you in the next episode.